Number 1. The Railroad Man A railroad switchman named Truman Duncan accidentally fell off the front of a train car. You can only imagine his body being swept underneath the moving train as his bones were crushed and body cut in two. It's a little gruesome if you think about it. Thankfully, Duncan survived. He waited approximately 45 minutes before he was finally rescued and brought to the hospital. Despite the fact that he survived, he lost both his legs that day. Number 2. Parachutes and Fire Ants Joanne Murray was parachuting when her parachute malfunctioned and she began plummeting 14,500 feet to the ground at 80 miles per hour. And to make it even worse, she landed on a mound full of fire ants. But that wasn't all bad. The sting she endured caused her to have an adrenaline surge, which kept her heart beating until she was finally rescued. Number 3. Marathon Man Mauro Prosperi is an endurance runner who participated in the 6-day, 233-kilometer marathon of the sands. Apparently, a sandstorm caused the runner to lose his track and ultimately ended up heading the wrong direction. Without food and water, Prosperi survived by drinking his own urine and eating snakes and bats. After nine days, a nomadic family finally found Prosperi and took him to the hospital. Hmm, this sounds a little like Bear Grylls. Number 4. Buried Alive Michelina was bound by her wrists and ankles and was stuffed into a cardboard box then brought into the wilderness to be buried alive by her fiancé, who had grown bored of her. In a very ironic twist, Michelina used her engagement ring to free herself and clawed her way out of the grave. Number 5. Ice Woman In 2009, Banga Home was on a skiing trip on her way down a slope when she suddenly found herself sliding uncontrollably down a hidden ice gully. She tumbled head first in the ice hole in the mostly frozen stream and got stuck there, with only her feet protruding from the 8 inch thick ice. Her friend's rescue attempts were in vain due to the icy water surrounding her. With only a small air pocket between the water and the ice, she lasted for 40 minutes in these conditions. Unfortunately, it took 80 minutes for her to be rescued. When her body was retrieved from the water, her temperature had plummeted to 56 degrees. Medics attempted to give her CPR, but it was hopeless. In an effort to do something, North Norway doctors hooked her to a heart-lung machine to warm her enough to properly pronounce her dead. Three hours later, a doctor was alerted that the patient's heart started beating. As it turns out, her 40-minute struggle in the water gave her body time to go into hibernation mode. Not only has Bangleholm recovered completely, but she's actually working as a radiologist in the very hospital that saved her. Thank you all for watching, and please subscribe for more. In a world full of normal, I give you so much random.